Hey Drone Nerds, it's Matt. I'm here with Michael from Ghost Robotics. Michael, how are you today? Good, Matt. Good. Tell me a little bit about what we've got here. Yeah, this is our Vision 60 quadruped robot. Okay. Um, it's a ruggedized robot. So. Bend it down so we can see what he's got going on here. It's a ruggedized robot, okay. so, which means it's meant for uh, austere environments. Rain, snow, sleet, uh, mud, you name it, this robot is meant to go through. Um, it's an open platform, which okay. means that we can add a variety of different payloads. Right now you've got this 360 thermal camera on there and a LiDAR, okay. an Alster LiDAR. Um, use cases, um, there's a, a lot of them, mainly perimeter security is one of them. There's 11 air bases around the country that currently use these mm -hmm. deployed for perimeter security. Um, Seaburn, chemical, biological, nuclear uh, detection uh, is another one. Um, explosive ordnance detonation, so EOD. Oh, wow. So you can use these for sniffing out bombs or uh, detecting bombs and things like that. Uh, industrial inspection is another good use case. So oil and gas, uh, going through plants and detecting, um, again, if there's any leaks in any of the tanks and things like that. Um, so really what we like to call the biggest use case is anything that's dull, dirty, or dangerous. Right. Yeah, talking on the danger factor, I mean, putting one of these in a first responder situation, right. I mean, it's really useful. Oh, absolutely. I mean, certainly you'd like to, uh, the robot to go through a burning building rather than a firefighter, sure, sure. as an example. Or a police officer that has to go into a precarious situation, into a tunnel, or things like that, where you'd send a robot instead. Right. Right? So, yeah, anything that could be deemed dangerous is where you'd use a quadruped robot. Right. Um, so the reason you'd use a quadruped versus a tractor-wheeled robot is mainly stairs. Sure. Right? So tractor robots have... Uh, a lot of issues kind of going upstairs, traversing stairs, where quadrupeds can do that uh, yeah, easily. And obviously other objects as well. So as it's going through its environment, stepping over logs or things that a tractor wheel vehicle wouldn't be able to do is where you'd use a quadruped. And how similar is this to flying like a normal drone? Like how does it carry over? Is the learning curve yeah, pretty easy? Yeah, very simple if you want to show the, the controller here. In fact, there's just a robot there. Yeah. So the joysticks are very much like a drone, okay. you know, you're just uh, upright, left, you can straight with the robot as well, but very, very simple uh, to use. And how much um, battery runtime are we talking for something like this? Yeah, man, great question. So uh, we really focused on endurance for our robot. Okay. So we can get three and a quarter hours at a full walk. That's amazing. Uh, on our robot. And then mixed use for about six to seven hours, so walking, stopping. Uh, but that was one of the main um, you know, features that we wanted to highlight was the, the endurance of the robot. And do they use RTK or like what's their position? They do. Okay. Yep, yep. they use cool. RTK. There's two uh, GPS pucks on the robot. Okay. Um, and then we do use RTK. That's really cool. What's the obstacle avoidance like? Like how does that system work for something special like this? Yeah, absolutely. So there's actually a few different cameras uh, on the robot. Mm -hmm. There's five RGB uh, cameras on the robot. And then there's the Intel RealSense cameras as well, plus LiDAR. Okay. So a combination of all of those cameras and the LiDAR help with obstacles the full system. Yeah. Um, how do the users get the most out of this platform? Um, so again, it really depends on the use case that they're looking to uh, use it for. Okay. Um, but uh, again, if it's perimeter security, it's, it's setting up the robot to do a perimeter uh, security uh, uh, mission and then setting that mission and continuing on. Are these primarily user operated or can they do autonomous missions? Both. Yeah. Oh, so cool. yeah. So uh, we use uh, various mission management software mm -hmm. uh, to create missions, and then the robot can autonomously uh, do that mission. And it could repeat it over yep, and, and over. Repeat that's that. That's really exactly. cool. Um, this is just really unique. I mean, in the drone industry, it seems like you know really cool stuff like this is coming out. Where do you see the industry going as a whole in general? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, certainly different types of robotic solutions like quadrupeds and uh, different size of quadrupeds. Um, I think for the drone industry and robotics in general, endurance really is going to be the key. How long can a drone last, right? Um, or combination of platforms where we've actually done this with this platform where you can launch a drone off of the Vision 60. Okay. So therefore extending the endurance sure. of that drone yeah. as it goes out. What type of operating temperatures do these thrive in? Like what, what's the limits for it? Yeah, so this, our robot goes from negative 40 to 50 Celsius. Wow. So quite a range. Yeah. And, and again, it was just really meant for rough environments. Right, where the, the robot's going to be in extreme heat temperatures um, down in Texas, 
uh, to up in North Dakota where it's extreme cold temperatures. Yeah. And then we're one of your partners. What's one thing that you like about working with drone guns? Um, I think uh, your, your team has really helped us, you know, um, really extend the sales force that we have at Ghost Robotics, uh, but also educating the public. You know, really educating the public on what quadrupeds can be used for right. and, uh, and the different use cases. Anything else you wanted to add I didn't say? No, I think, you know, again, you know, it's nascent technology, but it's advancing very rapidly. It is. And you're seeing this used um, not only in the military, but also in industrial and enterprise applications as well. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. I really well. appreciate yeah, it a lot. You.